trainers here at Holistic Hounds and today we are going to be starting our tricks training series. So today we're going to be doing three basic tricks that you can teach your dog at home and I have the lovely Peanut who is a staffy who is going to help me today. So today we are going to go over sit, down and paw. They're as I said really basic commands so if you've never done tricks training before or your dog hasn't these are really simple commands that most dogs can do um, with very little, um, very little effort. So today we are going to be going through how you would teach those commands um, and what you're kind of looking for. So Peanut here is a six year old Staffy. She is not the brightest spark, bless her. And she takes quite a while to learn some new tricks. So she hasn't done much trick training and I thought she'd be a pretty good one to start off with um, so you can kind of see the basic process of what I'd go through with a dog who's not really done much of this before. So all you will need is your dog, a bag of treats, we use the Bounce and Bella grain free dog treats, these are the poultry ones and the reason we use these, if you just get one out, is because they are absolutely tiny, that's my fingers you lumpy. So they're absolutely tiny little treats, so they're perfect for trick training because that you can really, um, they go very quickly um, and because they're quite little you can use quite a lot of them in a short space of time and your dog's not having to sit and chew um, a treat and um, forget what you're learning about. Um, and it's also a good idea if your dog has never done trick training before or is learning something brand new to do it in a nice quiet space. So I'm just out in our garden, all of the rest of our dogs are inside so it's just the two of us um, so that she's not so distracted and um, yeah, we can spend some time together. So, as you can see, Peanut is already sitting. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how you would teach a dog who doesn't know sit to sit. So, what I'm going to do is grab a few treats and put them in my hand. So again, I'm going to put one in between my finger and my thumb and the rest I'm going to kind of hold in my hand. Now, if your dog has never learned sit before, the easiest and quickest way to teach them is by using these treats like this. So I'm going to bring her out in front of me and I'm going to bring the treat up. Good girl. And then um, what I'm looking for, if I move her just to the side here, we clever clogs. Good girl. So what I'm looking for is for her bum to be on the floor and all four feet are touching the floor as well. Obviously Peanut already knows this command so she knows what I'm looking for. Well, thank you. Once your dog is starting to get an idea of what you are looking for, you can then start to use either a hand signal and or a um, verbal command. You're going to want to probably put a verbal cue in um, and also a hand signal if you like to. So our hand signal for sit is touching our nose. I don't know where it came from, it just quite happened to be that. And obviously the word we use is sit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring her out of it. Yeah, peanut. Bring the treat up, sit. And then reward, good girl. Again, I'm going to bring her out of it. Sit. Good girl. Um, once your dog is starting to be able to do it without the lure, so without me luring her into position, so I'm going to bring her out of position and then I'm going to go peanut, sit. <laughs> sit. Good girl. Um, you can then at this point start to bring in a hand signal, so obviously she's already sitting, so I'm going to break her out of the sit, relax. And then I'm going to bring her around here. Yeah. Um, and then you can start building in with your hand signal um, and using less lures. So the idea is that you start by luring your dog into position. Once they start to understand that, you can then start phasing out the lure and use, thank you, use the other methods like a hand signal and a um, verbal cue to help teach them what you want them to teach. So again, I'm gonna sit. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. So the next thing we're going to do is a down command. I'm just going to grab a few more treats. Thank you, Peanut. Um, so again, this is a really simple one. You can do it in uh, two ways. So um, I would recommend doing it both ways because it's really important that you don't... Can you come sit here, please? Sit. Um, it's really important that your dog is able to do this command, um, a down from a stand and from a sit position. So Peanut is already sitting, so it makes teaching her a down really simple. I'm just going to bring her a little bit further away. Sit. Um, and what you're going to do is let your dog have the treat, bring it down. Good girl. And as your dog reaches the floor, use your brain cells, thank you. 
<laughs> as your dog reaches um, all four feet down, you're going to reward and mark. So again, we're going to go ahead and sit. Good girl. Bring the lure down. Good girl. She's actually listening to the word, not the lure. Sorry, everyone. Um, and then remark and mark and reward when she's in that position. Exactly the same thing. You can then put your word. We use down and your hand signal weight, which we use just a flat hand like this. Um, and you can start using that uh, in the same way. So if I just move her out of the way, sit down. And then uh, if she doesn't do it, prime example, you know, wasn't listening. Um, and you then, if you ask, and then lure them into the position that you're looking for. You know, sit down. Peanut down. Good girl. It's all very exciting for Peanut. Good girl. Sit. Down. <laughs> down. So you can see she gets quite confused. As I said, Peanut is not the cleverest dog. So she's just, she, she's very excited about doing training and she's just going to throw anything at me. So what I'm looking for is for her to start noticing what I'm asking her to do rather than just throwing things at me. You not here? Sit. Down. You're a bit too close, this is going to be hard for you. Down. Down. Good girl. You not here? Sit. Down. Let me see if she's looking for this hat. Down. Yeah, she is. <laughs> She's looking for that hand for the cue. Oh, you dropped it. Here it is. There you go, good girl. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll try it with this hand instead. We don't normally use this hand, but apparently she's looking at this one. Sit. Down. Be not down. Good girl. There we go, that's better. Um, and that's eventually what you will be looking for later on down the line. So you start phasing out your lure and just using your hand signal and um, or the word that you're using. So you also need to practice when you're doing your down is practice it from a stand. It's a really important skill that your dog needs to be able to do, um, especially when you start looking um, at more extensive training later on down the line, so doing emergency downs. So exactly the same as um, before, but all you're doing is bringing her into a stand position, down, and then luring her straight into the down. Um, exactly the same, down. Good girl. So as you can see, I'm getting her from a stand position and then luring her straight into it. Down. So that one I'm going to wait. Down. Good girl. Very good. Okay, the final trick that we're going to do is a paw. It's one that Peanut hasn't done loads of, um, but is doing quite a bit of today actually. So it's something she only learnt recently. So the way that you teach a paw is obviously from a sit position. So I'm just going to move her side on. Sit. So you can see you smarty pants, aren't you? So as I said, she's only learnt this recently. So this is her kind of new favourite because it's something she's only recently learnt. So the way that you teach a paw is again from a sit position. Can you not come? Sit. There we go, that's better. And what you're going to do is you're going to put the hand out. Paw. Good girl. And at that point, if your dog wasn't respond, going to respond, which if they don't know the command, they're not going to, you would just literally, thank you, you would just literally pick the paw up, say paw, and then reward. Paw. Good job. So as you can see, she's got quite good at this one now. Paw. Good girl. And you can also do it from the other hand and teach like a other paw. Other paw. So she doesn't know this one yet, so I'm not going to reward that one, and I'm going to pick this one up. Other paw. Good girl. Reward. Good girl. Other paw. So she picks it up. She's confused, so again, pick it up. Other paw. Good girl. Other paw. Other paw. Good girl, Pina. Other paw. Other paw. Good girl. We'll do this one and then you can kind of see um, what it's like if she doesn't know the command at all. Other paw. So again, just lifting it up. Other paw. Good girl. Other paw. 
she's processing. Other four. Good girl. Other four. Other four. Good girl. My fingers. Other four. Then I'm going to start just kind of touching her foot to let her know this is the one I want. Lift it. Good girl. Other four. Other four. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of how you would teach a four command. So you can then switch between the two. Four. Good girl. Other four. Other four. Good girl. Other four. Other four. <laughs> Other four. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, sorry, sweetheart. There you go. Good girl. Um, and that is the basis of um, all of those tricks for you. Um, what I'll do is I'll update you when uh, Peanut starts to be able to do other four on her own. Um, as you can see, she's not very good at that one yet. Um, but that's kind of how you would start teaching um, each of those tricks. Um, and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, be sure to leave us a like and um, comment below any other tricks that you want to see. Um, you know, some of our other dogs know a lot more tricks. So I'm going to do a few more videos with them. Um, but comment below if there's anything in particular that you want to see how to teach your dog. Um, you know, me, good girl. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please do subscribe if you want to see more of our content. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Are you clever stuffy? Oh, you're clever stuffy.